Hey everyone, this is Ross, and as some of you guys have probably realized in the last week or so, we've been struggling to keep up with the video per day content that we normally put out for you guys. Um, I've just been pretty uninspired and not very passionate um, as of late, and it really just comes down to the fact that uh, there's nothing going on outside. It's, it's actually really cold. Um, today's freezing. Um, and then, believe it or not, I think around the 18th of January through the 23rd of January is the coldest days of the year, historically, um, here in Pennsylvania. So, um, it's we're kind of almost through the coldest days of the year. I mean, I'm, I'm sure this we're going to have the potential to get another polar vortex or a polar vortex later in the season maybe sometime in February uh, but the chances of the polar vortex goes down quite a bit um, if we can get through the 23rd so um, the point is though is that there's not really a whole lot going on outside because it's so cold and I just haven't been able to even get out there or withstand that cold to create some content um, also it's sort of been on my mind that there's not really a whole lot of, of new things I can talk about with you guys. I feel like I've done a lot of these videos before um, or you know some people may have some questions that I've already covered in other videos. Uh, if you guys look hard enough I've pretty much covered almost everything it seems like about growing figs specifically. Uh, what I'm noticing here is I went on our figs and I did some research and try to feel a bit inspired by some topics to see if I could come up with something and there's one topic that really blew me away we're gonna do that video I think tomorrow because um, it really is an interesting way of growing figs and containers and uh, and if I could do it here I would be doing it and I will be doing it in the future and I think there's a way to actually improve it even further um, it's genius it really is um, so we're gonna talk about that which has been probably the most exciting thing that's come across my mind in a while um, but I did come across this thread here I thought was pretty interesting and this person asked a lot of questions it, you know uh, just how extreme should I prune my tree I hope this person doesn't mind that I cover uh, their topic in this video uh, but the fact that there were so many questions in this and a lot of photos and a lot of information that they gave us, I think this makes for a really great um, topic that I can cover for uh, for not just this person, but for all of you guys out there, especially because this tree, like as big as this tree is, I don't have any figs this big. Um, you know, this is not something that is easily doable here um, because it's just too cold and we will never really get a fig to this size so it's sort of a it's sort of something I can really never cover with you guys and I know a lot of people have trees out there like this um, and this is kind of the more of the video that a lot of you that some of you guys have been wanting to see and I just have never been able to show it um, there is going to be a time in the future, though, where I have a tree sort of like this, but not exact, in that we're going to plant some in raised beds, and then we're going to wrap those trees every winter. And maybe, maybe if about three years from now, we can do a video like this on a tree this size, I guess. Um, but for the most part, this is nothing we've ever covered, and I figured... Uh, this is a great video to um, to just show you a lot of people something new. So um, you can tell by this tree right here, it's quite old, right? Um, there's a lot of trunks from the base, and this has got to be a super productive tree. I mean, this is enough. This tree is giving you enough figs to where you would never have to have another fig tree again. Um, this is nuts. If I had this tree, um, I mean, this fig, this tree maybe could even give you three thousand figs if I, um, if you really took care of it and you really, 
pruned this thing from the start the right way. Um, I mean, it's just nuts. This thing, it's it's just it's incredible. Um, I'm very jealous, let's say, of this tree. Um, there is some limbs that are kind of dangling off the bottom here. Like there's one that seems to have gotten weighed down or pushed down in some way. You can see these here on the right specifically and there's one down here um, the top canopy doesn't look that dense but uh, when this tree leaves out it's probably extremely dense and it does depend on what the person's objective is and um, you know how tall and how high they can get up here if they're willing to climb a ladder you know um, per my personal preference is that I would let this tree be as tall as possible so I can get as many figs as possible um, and I would enjoy it assuming the birds don't come in here and eat everything um, but I doubt they can eat every single fig off of this tree uh, so the point is is that I would probably not touch it all that much and there is some like you could probably get into this very dense you know branching systems here and you could say all right well i'm going to cut this out i'm going to make this cut and i'm going to thin this out but to be honest with you the the main objective is going to be focused down in this location right here um this is where you need to focus all of your attention and this is pretty much every tree in you know that you have um regardless if it's a fig or not we want to make the bigger cuts first. You want to make those big cuts to take out a lot of this wood to then it'll thin itself out naturally up here. Because if you take out one of these trunks from the base, you're then thinning out this as well. So um, I wouldn't necessarily touch any of this from about this height here up. I wouldn't touch any of it. Um, I would just come down and focus here. So let's get a good look at the trunk because that's going to give us an idea of how healthy this is um, you know that's sort of the name of the game with the with a tree like this is it very healthy if it's not we need to do some rejuvenation pruning we need to make some really hard cuts and a lot of them um, so we need to evaluate the bark here um, first off a lot of these very thin suckers we get rid of these every year these need to go, you know, even better is they need to be stopped from growing to begin with. If there's any weeds in here, pull them out. If there's anything else growing in here that's not a fig, pull it out. Uh, you can definitely see there's a weed right here. And it looked like in one of their photos, this thing here doesn't even look like a fig. Whatever this is, this doesn't necessarily look to me right off the bat as a fig so whatever this is uh, it's kind of surprising that it's not a fig but maybe it's not maybe there's something else there and I would consider taking that out um, so that's number one but number two let's evaluate the bark and the health of the tree and I can tell by looking at this this is a very healthy tree there's nothing wrong with it it's not it actually was very vigorous from a young age it's a vigorous variety. Um, all the bark and all the wood seems to be in pretty damn good shape. You can see there's some scratching going on here, some dents in the bark. You Maybe there's a little bit right here. Maybe there's a little bit right here. Um, there's definitely some right there. Um, I would very much so consider if you had a tree that wasn't very healthy and didn't have all this healthy wood in here, this very far node spacing, see how far this node spacing is and, and how clean the bark looks and how it doesn't look gnarled. Um, it looks pretty uniform and straight and uh, like there's not a lot of issues. This trunk right here seems to be struggling. You can see there's a lot of close node spacing down here at the bottom. Um, and these other trunks that have some damaged wood on them or any dead wood I'm gonna I would consider cutting that out because I do think as beautiful and as incredible as this tree is it could use some thinning 
And that's mainly my goal is to thin something out down here, which then thins out this. And overall, we probably just have too many trunks from the base anyway. I mean, this tree has so many trunks from the base. Um, at this point, it doesn't necessarily matter that there's that many because um, the tree is going to pretty much be so mature that it doesn't necessarily make a huge difference in the productivity. Um, but thinning this out a little bit, I think, is overall good for the tree, uh, better for production, maybe not in the short term, but in the long term. I'd also consider, out the, consider taking out these big branches that are leaning and that'd be it you know maybe something anything damaged first off that you think is then going to be not as productive because that's this damaged wood is going to be not as productive um you know it's just a fact they're you know these these branches eventually over time they rub up against each other they have some issues um they get that gnarled look to them maybe 10 years from now we'll see some of that so I would consider um, getting rid of some stuff that's already sort of damaged and it looks much more damaged than what we can visibly see ourselves. Um, this is going to be up to the grower. This isn't something I can definitely point out and say, well, you know, this is definitely damaged. I'll give you an idea. This right here isn't that healthy. This right here isn't all that healthy. You know, this isn't all that healthy this looks quite healthy and this looks quite healthy and so does this and this and this and this of course the new growth looks quite healthy this doesn't look all that healthy it looks like it got hit some with some frost damage didn't lignify all that well you know take out pretty much all the stuff that's got the closer node spacing like this right here and that would be my only real suggestion um, if you wanted to do that detail pruning but ideally, you're going to come in here and you're going to thin out these trunks. And that's it. You want to have the right shape. Um, let's say you don't want some of this dangling off to the side. It's a pain in the butt to get in here on this side of the tree because of that. Take it out. Um, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world. Other than that, I wouldn't do anything to it. I would thin out maybe, you know, let's, let's count. Let's do a little count here. Man, Whew. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, maybe fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven. There is at least twenty seven big trunks from the base I mean you could get that down to 20 no problem um, you could even get that down to 15 I wouldn't go down to 15 so soon I'd probably go down down to about 20 and just settle there and make a decision um, and wait on it for until future years I wouldn't necessarily go down to 15 but I think 20 is a good number. I think 20 is a great number and you can thin out about seven of these trunks and you're gonna have a really nice looking productive tree that's remaining healthy. And you know, that's kind of it. That's the name of the game. I wouldn't do any um, pruning up here. If you, if you needed to, like I said, if you absolutely had to, you couldn't reach it or you wanted to bring the height back, um, you know that can kind of be an issue because you've already kind of you have this problem where you've got the the trunks coming up and then at a very high height then they're branching out and then they're going to branch out even further to then branch out to this fruiting wood this fruiting wood's probably 10 15 20 feet high so you know Ideally, this tree should have been maintained differently and pruned differently at a younger age to then get you a shorter tree. So there's not, there's kind of no going back to that. And if you were trying to go back to that, I think it's a mistake. I do because you're going to miss out on a lot of fruit um, for just a little bit of extra work, you know. 
So that's kind of where I'm at with this tree. I think it's it's a beautiful tree. Uh, I think the person here was saying it's a Celeste. It says there's a large fern growing out of the middle. Um, and I think overall they're just complaining about how things are so close. And yeah, that's it's true. There's too many. There's too much going on in here. What may you may want to also consider, I guess, is keeping enough of these in the in a certain order so that you can climb the tree. I mean, that may be something to consider. These guys back in here, I mean, they're they're very different trees in the way that they've been set up. These are the neighbors, and they have instead of tw you know thirty trunks almost coming from the base, they've got let's say six on this one or seven on this one, maybe even less than that. This one's got maybe two or one, you know. Um, so it's like a very different story. And I could, if I wanted to, come out here and, and cut out one of these scaffolds, let's say. If it wasn't a bush with all these different branches coming up, the way that I could thin it out is just take out a scaffold. Take out a scaffold that's not that healthy, doesn't seem all that productive. Maybe, like I said, it's a bit gnarly. And that would be it. Other than that, I wouldn't focus on too much of all this this stuff here. This is kind of mundane. You're kind of in the woods. You're like knee deep in the in the grass over here, or whatever it is. I don't know what the term is, guys. Someone help me. But um, this is just for me completely unnecessary. Um, clean up the bottom. Get out all these different plants, and uh, we'll call it a day. So yeah, guys. That's this video. I hope some people got some good information out of this because this is not something, like I said, that we talk about all that often. We don't have access to a tree like this. I don't know. I know a couple people in the area with, with a tree like this, but uh, I've never really been able to get one myself. So, alrighty. We'll talk to everybody soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Check us out on Fig Boss and Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.